Daft Punk may be one of the best musical performance in the history of music. With a total of 14 Grammys, they've made some really good stuff. With famous collaborations like Pharrell Williams, The Weeknd, Niall Rogers and more. The French duo has gained some popularity over the years. Thomas Bangalter, or the one with the silver helmet, and Guy Manuel the Homem Cristo, the one in the gold helmet, sorry if I butchered those names. They met at school in 1987 and started the rock band Darling. The Melody Maker magazine got their music Dafty Punk. The band fell apart and only the two boys with helmets stayed together. In 1993, Daft Punk was born. 28 years later. After a lot of hits, the duo dropped the video Epilogue. Watching the video for a first time could be confusing, but let me explain. We start with the duo walking through a desert. Thomas starts walking slower while Guy keeps walking. Eventually, Thomas stops walking and looks down at the ground. When Guy arrives, Thomas looks back up and takes off his jacket, and he turns around. Guy then activates some sort of self-destruct button which is located on Thomas's back. While well, Thomas walks away and explodes into bits. Guy proceeds to walk into the sunset when we see a picture of the duo making a triangle with their hands. This may seem like a sad ending, but it might mean that Guy is still going to make music. Or something else, because the sun is coming up, which could mean a new day or a new chapter. But the conversation of the two stopping might have happened before, which is the reason Thomas started walking slower and didn't stop. He might have wanted to stop, but didn't until it was either too much or he wasn't feeling it. After watching it this again, I thought the quality was low, which made me think maybe it happened earlier, but that never happened. But after some research, I found out why it was so low quality. Dolph Punk's Electroma, a sci-fi movie based all around two robots named Hero Robot 1 and Hero Robot 2, with familiar faces. Wanting to become human. If you want to watch it, it is on YouTube. It's quite an interesting story, but that could be for another video if you want to. But at 4754, we see what happens in Epilogue. The exact same story, but it continues. Guy keeps walking until he also stops, takes off his jacket, but can't reach the self-destruct. Guy then takes off his helmet, revealing the robot within, and smashes his helmet into bits. He takes his shard and uses the sun to put his hand on fire, revealing the robot hand. We then see Guy walk slowly away, but consumed by the fire, while I Want to Be Alone by Jackson C. Frank plays in the background. Now, if Electroma really has to do anything with Epilogue, I'm not sure. Maybe they just used this fragment because it was suiting, but maybe they used it because the whole point of the movie is that they've wanted to become human, but never really got that or liked it. Seeing as in the movie they become human, but are stared by all the other robots in the town, removing their human disguise, turning them back into robots. Well, this could have two meanings for me. The first one is the exact opposite. They are humans and became robots by becoming Daft Punk, wearing helmets almost everywhere. And then, after the fame, they just really wanted to be humans again. Well, the second, which, which I think is most likely, the world knew them so well as robots that they kinda hated them seeing them without the helmets, which we see in the movie because the masks they're wearing are a more cartoonish version of their own faces. And the robot village is scared and angry, leading them to removing the mask, being the robots again, leading into epilogue. Maybe Thomas just had enough of the robots and wanted to be seen normally again. Or just had enough of the band. But whatever the case may be, don't frown because it's over. Smile because it happened.